Hello, uh, my name is Ross McDonald. I'm the Library and Information Services Manager at the College. Uh, this is a short video. It's just to show you how to access um, resources, particularly online resources uh, for your course, because I know so many of you are studying off site at the moment. So uh, this is just going to take you through the various resources we have, or how to access them, whether you're in the college or at home. OK, so first thing I'm going to show you is how to log in. You should know this by now, but if you're at home or indeed in the college, you just go to the BelfastNet website, click login, and click login to Canvas. Okay, this then takes you straight into Canvas. All of the library resources are accessed from here. Okay, so you'll see everything that everyone sees here on the home page. If you look down on the left hand side, click on the link for library services. And if I just click student view, so this is what you normally see. Okay, so this is your, your one stop portal into everything that the library has. Okay, Now, you should use the library resources um, because we have spent a lot of money putting um, a lot of different books and electronic books such as e-books, e-journals, various other articles into this, Okay, all of which are only accessible through here. You won't get these through Google Okay, because they're very expensive. Most often we've had to buy them, buy them on your behalf. Okay, So they're very, very good resources. So this is, the, this, is, this is the place to go to get them, okay? So just to show you very briefly, this is our homepage. Now, most of this is very self-explanatory. You can just click through all of these things, okay? I just want to draw your, your attention to a couple of things on the first page. Uh, first, bit, it, this is our big search engine here, this big blue bar. So this is where you go to search most, most things that you're looking for. It's literally just to put in keywords like you do with Google, okay? I have to search, but I'll come back to that. Further down here is a bit of news, there's a little video there, that's a link to our Twitter feed. And two books, the two bits I want to show you really though are our contact details, okay? So the most important thing is if you get stuck with any of this, um, if you're looking for anything in particular and you can't find it, would you please get in contact with us and ask us, okay? So either drop us an email, that's our email address there, library at belfastnet.ac.uk, or you can phone us up, that's my direct line, but there's other, um, if you click the contact library button, uh, these are all phone numbers to different libraries. You're more likely to get someone if you phone one of these numbers, okay? And the other thing to do is to use our Ask a Librarian service. So just click that link. It takes you straight into this form, okay? And literally, you just fill it in. Just say, you've got a question, and just say what you're doing, okay? So I'm doing an essay on something, something, and I need help, or I'm looking for a particular ebook, I can't find it, whatever else. Just hit Submit, and we will get back to you, okay? But the most important thing is, please ask. We get hundreds and hundreds of queries from students every week. Um, no question to us is a stupid question. So rather than sit there and you don't know where to turn to, you don't know how to access something, just give us a shout and we will help you out. Okay? We will help you out remotely as well. So if you're at home, we'll get in touch with you and let you know. Okay, so back to the homepage. So what I really want to concentrate on is how to access books um, and e-books um, related uh, sort of the gaming and the creative multimedia and things, okay? So, there's a few things to do. Um, as I said, the main search engine that we have here is this blue one, okay? So the easiest thing to do is just to go in and literally you just type in keywords and hit search. Now, I'm in the college at the moment making this video, um, so whenever I do that, it opens up a new window and brings all this up. Okay, I'm just going to go back a screen very quickly. No, in fact, I will point to this to show you. If you're doing this from home, before you would get to that screen, so this again is very important, this screen would appear. Okay, uh, basically, whenever you're in a college, it recognizes who you are, but whenever you're off site, you have to tell it that you are in Belfast Metropolitan College. Okay, so this blue screen usually appears. What you have to do is put in your username and your password, okay? Your username will be your five digit student number, something like that, okay? Not your email address, just your student number. That's very important. And then your password below that will be your big long password, okay? So if I put mine in, staff just use their, their staff names, okay? But you as I say, students use their student numbers and then hit that and it'll log in, okay? So that's very important. I'll come back to that. That's a slightly different website. I'll come back to that. 
okay? But as I said, because I'm in the college, it logged me in automatically, okay? So what I did there, I just put in the keyword gaming. So I said, it's just like Google. Best thing to do is to put in different keywords, okay? Um, if you wanna get your search down a bit, add a different keyword, okay? Give it a little second. So we had 425,000 hits. Then we put in the word gaming and video, and then it goes down to 75,000, okay? And all of these then are links that you can click on. Now, the library subscribes to a huge amount of different resources, okay? So this will link to ebooks, um, it links to journal articles, it links to newspaper articles, it links to all sorts of other things, okay? So the first thing to do, if you want to refine your search down, change your keywords, okay? Other thing to do is, on the left-hand side here, you have different limiters. So what you can do is you can change your date range. So something like, you know, gaming and things changes very, very quickly. What you're probably looking for more up-to-date things. So this, this is searching all the way back to 1967. So you can change that. Just move the wee slider there. Say so only searching for things the last 10 years. Move that and that'll change that for you, okay? So that's brought it down further, okay? Um, and then the one below, this is very important, the source types. You can change your source types. So as I said, this is looking for all sorts of different information that the library supplies. So if you go to source types, click the show more button. This shows you all the different types of articles that you're getting, okay? So say 23,000 newspaper articles, 6,000 academic journal articles, 651 videos, um, loads of books, various ebooks. Okay, so just to, so I'm going to start showing you an example of ebooks that we have. Okay, so just click on ebooks, hit update, and there we go. It's brought down to 17. So what these are are all ebooks. So you'll see first one, digital gaming, <clears throat> and the advertising landscape, uh, the NES encyclopedia. There's a book on Raspberry Pi, eSports, professional gaming. So you can see all sorts of different ones here, okay? Virtual Worlds, Gaming Simulation, Mastering Unreal Engine, uh, Learning C, Raspberry Pi, okay? So very simple. If you want to read any of these, okay, you can read them all online. What you do is click the link here that says PDF full text. Now you'll see a link beside it that says full download. We don't recommend you click that, okay? What we recommend is you just click the PDF button when you see that, okay? Whenever you do that, <clears throat> excuse me, the book opens as a PDF file, okay? So this is exactly the same as a book that you would get in the library. Front cover and everything, and every other page is absolutely identical, okay? But it's all done as an ebook. So you have the full book on the right, the left-hand side, you have the different chapters as well, okay? So if, generally speaking, nobody's gonna read one of these books from start to finish. Usually you're just looking for a particular section or a particular chapter, okay? Um, so say you were looking for that bit, um, chapter five, you know, the procedural school. So all you would do is click on that bit, it takes you straight to that chapter, okay? The other thing as well is, this is actually easier than a, than a normal book. You actually search within the book. So if you just click the search within button again on the top left hand side, just put in any old keywords you want, and it'll find everywhere through the book where that word appears. Okay, so just put in gaming, puts it gives me 131 different hits. But you could be a lot more precise than that. Okay, and then if you saw a bit that you're interested in, just click it, it'll take you straight to the page. Also shows you where in the text your search has come up. Okay, so what you can do then. You can either read it online on the screen. Some people, some people aren't too bad with that. Some people struggle a little bit with that. So what you, so just another tip you can do, you can save pages up here, okay? Or you can print pages out if you've got a printer near you. So if you want to hit save pages, normally it doesn't let you do the whole book, but it'll let you do a selection. So this one gives you up to 100 pages. So you can say just this page, or maybe you just want this page in the next five pages or maybe you just want this particular section. So whatever you do there, just hit the save PDF button. It will then open up and you can save that onto your own hard drive or save it to OneDrive or something, okay? And then you can access it whenever you need it. Other thing you can do as well, if it's just a particular bit you want, you can literally just highlight the text and you can copy and paste that into your Word document as you want as well, okay? So it's very accessible. You will need to do a bit of searching yourselves, okay? Um, but in terms of accessing them, very easy, as I say, do the PDF full text, don't do the full download, 
Okay, it's much easier if you just do the PDF full text. Some of them you'll see this link where it says EPUB full text. That's pretty much the same. So just click on that as well. Okay. But look, it's fairly straightforward. So again, the way I did that was start with your keywords, what you're looking for. Then on the left hand side, change your source types to ebooks. And that should bring up a whole big list of ebooks. Okay. Some some uh, topics will have more than others, but there should be a good lot. Okay. Um, just I'll just show you another one very quickly. Saving keyword multi multimedia, for example. Do a search for that, and whenever you do a new search, just give it a wee second. Whenever you do a search, it tends to reset the source types on the left, so it goes back to everything. So if you were again, if you were just looking for ebooks, you'd have to go back in, choose ebooks, hit update. And that'll just give you all the ebooks we have, okay? So there you go, introducing the introduction to multimedia, internet multimedia, etc. Okay, HTML5, Python, all sorts, Adobe, Captivate, okay? Lots and lots. Okay, and again, just just hit the bottom when you need it. Okay, so that's ebooks. Other things that you might be searching for them, just to show you very quickly, you might not want ebooks, but you might be looking, especially if you're doing um, you know, a bit of work, a bit of research, is you'll be looking maybe for journal articles. So journal articles are a bit different. They are more academic. So these will be bits of research um, that academics will have carried out. Okay. So whenever I just click there on the academic journals. So this is taking all the ebooks out, taking everything else out, it's just giving us journal articles. Now in these ones, you might have to be a bit more precise with your keywords, okay? Let's give it a second. So I'm just sticking in a few more there, okay? And any that we have access to then you should see, same as the books, you will you should start seeing links there for full text or PDF full text, okay? So just to give you an example of one, a hybrid and a hybrid edge cloud architecture for reducing on on demand gaming latency. No idea or not whether this is relevant to you, but just to show you as an example, again, if you want if you want it, click the full text button, okay? And up it'll come. So I'll tell you where it's come from. So this is from the journal called Multimedia Systems, published in 2014. Uh, what will that be? Volume 20, probably, page 503 to 519 at the top. And that's the article. Okay. So with journal articles, if you get them as this, you can save the whole article automatically. So all you do is click download PDF. I would do that. Save a copy yourselves to your hard drive, okay? Then you can go back, search for more. And then if you need, you can print out or you can read them online. But generally, uh, journal articles are a good bit shorter, but they're very academic. So you might need to do a bit more of a search just to see what you need. You'll see other things. Well, I think this is actually a conference paper. This one where it says conference on the left. This one again, academic journal. But they all work the same way. So just click full text. That'll take you straight in. Okay. Takes a minute to open some of them. There we go. Okay. But you get what you need. But the, as I say, they all work in the same way. So, things to remember is once you log in, so you log in, you're off site, you need your student number, your big long password, put your keywords in, and then refine it on the left hand side. Okay. And again, you can do it by subject as well. So, you can do it by video games, mobile gaming. You can do all sorts of other things like publisher and things. I wouldn't bother with these too much. We'll just concentrate on the first few. So source types, date published, and maybe subject as well. Okay. So that's the main way to get what you want. So that was from the big blue search bar just there. Okay. If you are in the college as well and you're and you're after books, you can search our library catalogue as well. So the catalogue is accessed just down here from the home page. Okay. So we're going to click catalogue. Um, just going to put a game in again just to show you. There you go. Now some of these, as some of these will be ebooks, so it'll tell you what they are here at the bottom. Okay. So this one is an ebook. 
as is an, actually as is the next one the next one the next one this one though for example video gamers by gary crawford okay this is a book so it says it's a book here and says it's available for loan in titanic quarter number four so it's in level four so this one we probably don't have as an ebook but if you do want to come into the college we are still open actually the libraries are all still open so you can come in and borrow one um so there's quite a lot of books here for you if you want any so all you do is go into titanic quarter level four it's in the computing and IT section, and that's exactly where it is on the shelf. If you are coming in, I would just drop the library an email first, maybe just to say, look, I'm coming in, I'm after a few books on this particular subject, can you help me? We'll actually go and get them for you and leave them at the desk if you need them, okay? But there's a good lot there. If you can't find what you want online, have a little look for books here as well, we will get them for you, okay? But I have to say, just looking at this, we have a huge, huge, huge number of eBooks, so you might well be all right, okay? So, that's how to get them anyway. Library catalog in there again. Just do your search, and it'll tell you where they are. It'll tell you if they're books or ebooks and where they are. Okay. One uh, well, there's another couple of resources I want to show you. So these are accessed, not the big blue search bar. Go into the second tab along, okay, which is our e resources tab. First one, we're halfway down. There's another one here. So this is called ebook central. So I'm just going to open this. Ah, it's opened anyway. This this was another one. If you're off site and you click that, it'll, it'll prompt you again for your uh, student number and your big long password. Okay. Once you put that in, you should be in. This is just just to show you this. If you can't find ebooks in the first big search, go into this one here because there's a huge number of um, gaming and multimedia books available here. So you see, I put in gaming there, and immediately. 380 different books. Okay, so a brilliant one there on learning on Real Engine. General one in video games, that's maybe a bit old, 2004, but then lots and lots of other ones, okay? So, guide to get touch screen game design, social media marketing, all sorts of other ones, okay? So again, change your keywords. At the top, is anything else you're interested in? Okay. But, there's a good lot of Dreamweaver and things, okay, yeah. Um, I'm just having a look, okay? So hopefully it's a good lot there. And again, same as before, any you want to read, click in the book, and there you go. You've options to read online and download. On this one again, we would always say read online. Okay, that opens up the book. And again, you've your chapters on your left-hand side, or you can search within the book. Um, So we'll just put in the word fade, for example. So you've, you know, it's a Photoshop book. So image editing tells you what to do, tells you exactly where you are, where you need to go. Okay. So it can be very, very helpful. Okay. And again, it's the same as before. You can print pages out. You can save pages. You won't be able to save the whole book. Okay. Just click on that. Actually, I will full download this one. Some may, might give you the option. I wouldn't recommend it. Though. I would just do it chapter by chapter if you need it. Okay. So choose the chapter you want, um, hit continue, and away you go. Okay, but very straightforward. So again, just change your keywords, have a little look. Uh, again, if you can't find what you're looking for, give us a shout, we'll have a look for you. Okay, but that one is on eBook Central. So eBook Central, just to remind you, go to eResources in the library. So open the library. Go to eResources. Go down to ebook central. But halfway down, there it is, ebook central. Other one I want to show you then is LinkedIn Learning. Now, hopefully, you'll have seen this already. So, again, from this e resources page, <coughs> excuse me, LinkedIn Learning. So, there's a direct link in here. I'm going to try and open this. So, whenever you open up this for the first time, on site and off site, it should prompt you immediately to sign in. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. If this is the Microsoft sign in, it's going to ask you for your email address. So your email address will be your student number. So again, it'll be something like that. Uh, okay, because I'm staff, I put in my staff one. Next. 
It should then recognize it. So you might well then be prompted for this again. I'm not sure if students get this as well, but it's hard to do. Okay. So this will tell LinkedIn that you're from Belfast Net. Oh, and again, because our security is so high at the minute. I'm just prompted for yet another Microsoft code. Okay, so once I put that in, I get access to LinkedIn Learning, okay? So if you haven't seen this before, um, LinkedIn Learning is a fantastic um, video um, training tool, okay? So it's full of a huge number of um, different learning packages all online that you can watch at your leisure, okay? On all sorts of different subjects. So I just click search there, go to Photoshop, for example. So there you go, all this wonderful online training. So this one's essential basics in Photoshop 2020, 2018, 2019, just an introduction one, one about graphic design and so on. So to watch any of these, find what you want. Now you can watch a whole series. Photoshop is the industry standard for creative visual experience. Or but you'll find it all off as well. And all get different chapters. It's a little bit like a book, and you'll find the different chapters all down the left hand side. So you can watch the whole thing. Now, this one lasts hours and hours, so it's split up into different ones. It's about six hours long, but if it's just a particular area you're looking for. Um, say you didn't know how to straighten a crooked image, for example, in Photoshop. Just click there are that. several ways that you can straighten an image in Photoshop. There the first would be to select the Crop tool, so I'll tap the C key, and then choose the Straighten tool in straight. the Options bar. Oh, there you go. Then we can just drag the tool in the okay. image area, and if we have a reference point, there you go, but there's all sorts of stuff in here, and that's absolutely fantastic. Um, literally, again, you're doing, this, you know, you're doing by keyword, you know, graphic design. What are you looking for? Different things, okay. Um, if you're the level you're looking for, are you beginner, or are you a bit more advanced, whatever else, okay. You're looking for a particular software that you're using. Okay, it's absolutely brilliant. So. Basically, the, the, the video will take you through it and show you how to access it and everything else, okay? So once you're logged in, you should be able to get, get in. You'll have access to absolutely everything. Now, just to say, a few students have a great problem logging in for the first time with us from home, but once you get in, it's absolutely fine. So I've been helping lots and lots of people if they've got stuck. So just, again, just contact the library if you can't get in. It's a fantastic resource. Um, I would bookmark that yourselves as well. So. It is from so from the library again, go to the library, into e-resources, you click the L actually for LinkedIn learning, and that's the link that will take you to it. Okay. We've guides down the right as well for all of these, which will tell you how to log in from home or from inside the college as well if you get stuck. But just give us a shout if you do. Okay. There's various other e-resources down here. I don't think many would be relevant to yourselves though. Um concentrate on those two, I would think. So LinkedIn Learning and eBook Central. That one there, ebook central as well. Okay. So that's how to access things. Um, just to give you another wee hint and tip while we're here, okay. Oh, sorry, I'm just clicking the white here very quickly. So again, say you were doing a search, or say you were doing a piece of work and you needed to do references. At the end of it, okay, because you will have to do, you know, you will, whenever you're doing your assignments, whatever, you will have to do proper referencing at the end of it. Um, so, any of our resources that you use, so I'm just going to do a sort of game design here. So, I'm just doing a search. So, any of the resources that we use will help you whenever you're doing your referencing, okay? So, I'm just going to go into game design. I'm going to look for ebooks. Okay, so say these were some of the books that I'd used on an assignment. You needed to write the, the, the Harvard reference at the end of it. Okay, so what you can do so if you've read the book, you would have clicked PDF full text or EPUB, you would have read the book. But if you need the reference for that book, well, click on the top bit here. So just click on the title of the book. Okay. So two things you can do. First thing is, this gives you all the details that you need, okay? So maybe you write a reference, you need title of the book, you need author or authors of the book, you need place of publication, you need publisher, you need the date it was published and everything else, okay? So from this, you could write the reference. But on the right-hand side here, you've got a fantastic tool 
called site. So if you click on this, okay, this then will give you the actual citation that you need. So you click on that, scroll down to Harvard, so we use Harvard, okay, and then all you have to do is copy and paste that. So copy all that. Open up a Word document. So, so say this was the assignment that you were working on, okay? You'd have a page at the end of it for your references. All you have to do then is paste that in, okay? So there's your reference. So it gives you the author of the book, J. Ployman, year it was published, 2016. Title of the book, place it was published, Birmingham, UK, Packet Publishing. And then, because it was an online book, it actually gives you the hyperlink to show you where you accessed it from and the date that you accessed it, okay? So rather than you have to go away, work out the Harvard reference, work out the proper style, all that, there it is, it does it for you, okay? And that works, just to show it to you again, it works with absolutely everything that you can get from this, okay? So say you'd use that book, say you'd also use this book, for example. Again, click on the title of the book, right hand side where it says site, scroll down to Harvard, copy and paste into your reference list. Not you. Just the same. Okay. Very, very easy. Save you loads and loads of time. Say you were doing it from this other one. This was the this was the ebook central one I was showing you as well. So it's slightly different. But say you were in here, you'd use this book. So learning Unreal Engine. Again, you'll see a little link here. The link you're looking for is called Site. Okay, just click on that. Again, tell it which version you're using. So you're using Harvard. And again, copy and paste. Back into your references. That's you. Okay, this one doesn't actually give you, the, give you the link that you have there, but it does tell you that it was available from ProQuest eBook Central, and again, the date it was accessed, okay? Now, some of them come in slightly different. For example, the brackets are around the date of this one and not on this one. So you might have to amend them ever so slightly. Like just check for your teachers, just in the style. And these might have to be in italics, okay? Just double check on that, but that's it. All you would have to do is that and that. The rest is all done for you. So it's absolutely brilliant, okay? Um, it's particularly good if you're using journal articles as well, because they can be very difficult to get some of the references for. Um, I'll just double check as well while we're here, because actually I'm not too sure about this one, so I'm just going to have a look, which is the LinkedIn Learning ones. Possibly they don't give you citations, because you, you would need citations as well if you're doing videos. The number of digital marketing... Ooh. Possibly they don't. I don't think they do. If you, need, if you are using any of these and you, need, and you need to create citations for them, give us a shout if you're stuck though, because we can help with that as well, okay? The library can certainly help you. Um, would have been helpful if they did. There's other video packages we have for different subjects. It wouldn't suit yourselves, but they give citations. So I wonder if I can contact Linda. I wonder if they'll give it, or LinkedIn Learning. I wonder if they'll give it to us. So I'll have a look. But look, that's a great tip. But again, if you're stuck with anything, anything to do with referencing, anything else, the library will help you out with that as well. We've got various books as well, which will show you about that, show you how to help about that as well. Okay. Okay, so look, I think that's all I wanted uh, to show you today. So that's that's about half an hour I've been talking, which is enough. Look, so just as I say, we um just just to go back to the start, go to the library, okay? All the details are on here. Search for books, articles, everything else, okay? Ask us if you need any help. Contact the library as well, okay? Just the last bit there, we do have a subject guide page as well. So if you go up here to the top, subject guides, uh, go to digital media and gaming, okay? There's various other links in here. Now, I have gone through the links with you anyway, because that's a link to Metcat. We've linked to eBooks and things as well. There's a few other links down here to various journals and things that we have as well. Um, you can click on all those yourselves, have a little look through, and a few other bits and pieces there, but I think I've been through most of the main ones you need access to as well, okay? And a few web links. But they should all help you with your course. As, look, and I can't say it often enough, if you need any help with any of this, just give us in the library a shout, and we'll be happy to help you. Okay, but thank you very much for listening.